of governance. Governors want their term limits removed to allow them seek re-election as many times as possible. The Council of Governors are said to be compiling a report to seek constitution change through a referendum to allow county bosses be allowed to contest elections beyond the 10-year limit. Our reporter Aaron Mwangi dealt with the possibility of governors having their way and now brings us this report. As the talks on referendum quickly gain momentum, the governors are now taking advantage of the referendum talks to extend their terms in government by doing away with their 10-year term limit. The Council of Governors is now seeking to present a proposal on that to the Building Bridges Initiative team. The Constitution in Article 180, Subsection 7, stipulates that a person shall not hold office as a county governor for more than two terms. We must understand also that the reason why we have term limits is such that if we make a mistake, uh, we are able to make sure that that mistake doesn't last more than 10 years. But also it means that if you make the right choice, then that right choice won't, will not stay there long enough to become a bad choice. Governors, however, argue that the MPs, senators, and the members of county assembly have no time limit and that they can always contest for their political positions. Hence, their proposal should not be termed as outrageous. MP does not have all those trimmings of being a governor. You know, an MP is called honorable. A governor is called your excellency. So definitely, there's a big difference between uh, being a member of parliament. As it is, 21 governors are in their second and final term in office, and it is expected that come 2022, they will pack their bags and retire if they will not vie for presidency or any other post. Let's start here. A governor can run for MP. A governor can run for Senate. It's only their egos that tell them not to. But if you're truly a servant of, pe of the people, that is a viable option. Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya, Mombasa Governor Ali Hassan Joho, Kilifi Governor Amazon Kingi, Makweni Governor Kivutha Kibwana, and Machakos Governor Alfred Mutua have declared their intention to run for presidency. Now, Ali Ambaya Wanaona Siju Hassan Joho, let me assure you. Hasa njoo mwenye zimu kiupo hai kwa tika debe yuko na utaona vumbi ambayo jawai yona. Because we have a simple agenda. Agenda yetu ni kuona inclusion katika serikali. Naenda kutavuta kura ya uraisi huko Nairobi. At the end of the day, uh, serious candidates who will run for the presidency will not number above three. The incumbent, it will appear, have limited options for their next course of action in the run-up to the 2022 elections, with only superior seat to the one they currently hold being presidency, a section of them backing the referendum calls so as to create more positions at the top. Political rhetoric that we are used to, what they are looking for is relevance. At the end of the day, every person knows that the only way you can win up an election in this country is by collision. And so what they're trying to do is between Amazon and Joho, for example, is to show who is the biggest at the point. Although Busia Governor Suspita Odemong and his Migori counterpart Okodo Bado have not shown interest in the presidency, lately they have been warming up to Deputy President William Ruto presidential ambitions. Fact is clear that leaders of county governments are going to be individuals with high capacity and ability to sit at the negotiating table looking at what they may have achieved during their terms of service as governors. Although some of the governors enjoyed huge political backing in their counties, they might fail to make an impact in the presidential race. Whether or not the proposal by governors to have their term extended will see the light of day still remains a puzzle. Even so, if it will fail, it means that governors whose term has expired will have a hard time to find relevance in the political arena. Irene Mwangi, KUTV, Nairobi.